I'm Vicky. Today I am going underneath the kitchen sink to have a little organise of this cupboard which as you can see has got a bit out of control. Um, I'm going to be using some tips from Marie Kondo. I've got her book Spark Joy which has been so good. It's got lots of really good little like tidbits of um, information not just about like the clothes folding method which is probably the one that's like most famous that most people see the way she folds clothes and stores them horizontally but also the way she organizes kitchen cupboards and miscellaneous cupboards and things like that she's got a really good tip for storing plastic bags which i'm going to talk about in a sec um but yeah as you can see like the plastic bag situation has got really out of control um so i just need to cut right back um on those and store them a bit better um, cloths are everywhere. Um, I've got some new storage bits, um, storage items, hooks that I can use to sort out some of these cloths that are just like hanging around here loose and making a bit of a mess. So yeah, I'm just gonna crack on and see if I can make a bit of a difference here. So I'm just gonna start off by taking everything out of the cupboard. Um, I think that's the best way to go when you're doing an organization project like this one take everything out, take stock of what I've got and then um, I can see about what the best way to store stuff is. Plastic bags are one of those things that I just gather so many of. Like I really try to always remember a bag for life at the supermarket but nine times out of ten I just do not remember. I just have a total memory fail. So we just end up with loads of them. I forget to put a couple in the car so that I remember them and yeah. I really need to like reset my brain with the plastic bag organisation. So as you can see, the baskets that I've had for a few months now um, for under the sink are these ones with the handle. These are so good. They're particularly good actually for cupboards up high um, where, you know, like you can't get right to the back of the cupboard um, without standing on a chair. But if you use these with the handle, then you just pull them out. Um, they've also been really good for the cupboard under the sink. They're a really big size. These were from Amazon. Um, if they're still available then I'll find them and I will link them below for you because I really really recommend them they've been really really good for me so I've got three of these three of these quite big ones so what I'm thinking is I'll have one for new sponges that you know just so they're just ready for me I'll have one for more sponges in here that's a pledge duster head I think there what have I got in here? I've got wipes and some spare rubber gloves. So I can have wipes and rubber gloves in this one. And then in the other one, I will use four bin bags. Now, in terms of plastic bags, I started using this system not that long ago. Um, I just need to reorganise this basket, but I just love it. Look, this is how to store your plastic bags. Not only does it make them a lot smaller, makes them take up less space, but they're just like, they just look so much neater. So this is a Marie Kondo way of storing bags. As you can see, like look, if I just push that back, I've got so much storage in there for a few more. So I'm just gonna show you how I fold the bags up. Feel free to skip this part if you're not interested in learning how to fold a plastic bag, but um, I, I was quite pleased to learn this method, so you know whatever floats your boat really <laughs> like so pull in one side like that the other side like that and smooth it down just like that then fold it over once fold it over again so it's folded into thirds and then like with the handles you can just like tuck those down there and then that just slots nicely in with all the others Cloths 
that I keep in the cupboard under the sink that I use quite frequently. So it's kind of annoying to have to like fold them all the way up, put them in a box and then have to pull that box out. So I've got some of these little door hooks that are really great because they literally just hang over the edge of the door. And then some of these cloths sometimes come with a little hanging tag, which is great. This one does, so that's fine. But for the ones that don't, like this one, I got these little clips, which again, I got these from um, Amazon, so I'll link them in the description below for you. But they're great, they're basically a little crocodile clip, and they've got a loop on top, and so I can just hook that over there. And now the cloth is like accessible to me immediately, which is great. I'm gonna do the same with this, this is my little um, mitt that I use for dusting, well, a bit of everything really. It's a really good handy microfiber cloth, pound from Poundland, funnily enough. And um, I can also hang my pledge duster handle on there as well. He just about fits. There you go. So my sponge basket there, these are the sponge type refills and things for the washing up that I use and these are the kind of sponges that I use to wipe down the surfaces. I've also got some other scourers here that like these are fed, these are Christmas tree shaped. I got them from Minky Home Care. So I'm gonna pop those in a different basket and I've got a cloth and a sponge I occasionally use to get heavy stains off of the floor so like I keep those separate from everything else because don't want to use those um, on anywhere else so yeah these two I occasionally use to get heavy stains off the kitchen floor same story with this look it's reindeer shaped mm. um, so I'm gonna store that separately in this little grey basket so I've got one of these scotch bright rollers which is so useful for getting like the pet hairs and stuff off of clothes and off of the sofa. So I'm gonna store that in this other little basket. As you can tell, I love using little boxes to store things, I just have so many of them. Um, I'm also gonna put spare, um, like I've got a couple of these like sticky hooks that you can use on the inside of doors, a couple of spare of those. So I'll keep those in the cupboard under the sink just in case I find use them. And I've got some more of these little clips which I'm sure I'll find something to use for. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop those in there. So in my cupboard under the sink, I don't keep any cleaning products. Um, none of the sort of bottled, no bleaches, no sprays, nothing. Just because I know I could child proof it, but I just find it so much easier just to be super safe and keep all the products up high. I'm lucky enough to have a utility room with like um, head height cupboards. So that's where all my cleaning products go. The only ones that I do put in here, I've got these Dettol wipes. Um, in here now the kids have never shown any interest in those I don't think they're likely to pull them out and put them in their mouth because they kind of like you know they're two and four now they're kind of aware of what wipes are so I'm okay with keeping the wipes there obviously like if anything ever changes if I notice that they are particularly interested in playing with wipes and I would change that because I'm sure Dettol wipes aren't great for kids to play with but it's, it's better than putting a bottle of bleach under there or I think the worst things to like, the things to really, really worry about at the end of the day are the um, dishwasher capsules and the washing machine capsules, the things that kind of look a bit like sweeties and um, they're the things that, you know, they burst in your mouth and the liquid goes down your throat and then like that can like lead to really bad burns. So I think that's the really dangerous stuff. So yeah, I just keep wipes in terms of chemical stuff under there. Um, otherwise it's all sponges and bags and stuff. Okay, so the last of my um, big baskets, I'm just gonna put, organize all of the bin bags in here. I've got a few black sacks. And there's also some like kitchen storage bags, which I'll just pop in here. There we go. Okay. That is looking better already, I feel. Now the other things that I keep in my cupboards under the sink are my kitchen foil and greaseproof paper. It's just the handiest spot in the kitchen for me to keep those. 
So I'm just going to slide those onto the top shelf up there. Perfect. And then I've got my plastic bags. I'm going to pop those in front there. And then all I'm going to do to finish is I'm just going to pop a refill paper towel in there just so it's easy to reach. Um, and then I'll probably put the other one in the um, pantry, in the kitchen cupboard, the bigger kitchen cupboard. I'm sure I can find a space on a shelf in there, um, just so it's not too getting too cluttered in here. I'm feeling so much better about this cupboard under the sink now. It's feeling much more organised. There's not plastic bags everywhere. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to hit subscribe for more parenting, cleaning, organising videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.